I am a firm believer that the best players on the NBA court are not the best players in the United States. I think sometimes the pressure from families and circumstances that are sometimes beyond our imagination have sort of precluded them from being a part of this pool of players that are considered the best. You know, I don't think there's any question people are inspired by success and they're inspired by people who beat the odds when the underdog comes out on top. You know, just celebrating the idea that he or she's been selected to compete, to sing, or to dance, uh, or to act, or to play basketball. We're too much of a divided nation despite the fact that we want to be out of many one, e pluribus unum, there are some really deep concerns, especially in our inner cities, uh, as it relates to the equality of opportunity that people have today. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, and in playing basketball as a kid and growing up, I was always taken by the idea that how many great basketball players on the street didn't perform well in school, did not take advantage of the skills that they could demonstrate on the basketball court. When I met my coach, he really molded a lot of us uh, into the men that we are now. We understood the, the, the value of sort of working on a common goal and working as a team and a unit and, and, and uh, you know, being there for our, our, our brothers. If you go to any playground, and I've seen this firsthand, whether it's in New York, in Chicago, or right here in Washington, D.C., you look at these kids on the basketball court, and you say, oh my God, look at that, kid make moves. I fight hard when I believe in stuff, and, it, and I really believe in kids, and I really believe in communities, and I really believe in America, and I believe that we can do anything we can, but we've got to come together somehow, and I believe this is a way. I think if any young person believe that if they had the opportunity in an open system where you just, we're gonna give every kid a chance to compete. It will help you try to be something or somebody, but it can go a long way. I think it's gonna be a rewarding uh, endeavor. I try to tell people, I don't, I, I don't believe that you can be great until you work up against something. So if the something's healthy, then it's gonna inspire other people. And that is exactly what we need. And we should be doing many more things like that. We want to have a mentors around that could really show these kids, look, you can do it. We are very sports driven. We are very sports driven. You just look every Sunday on the, on the games, there's basketball, football games, how many people show up? You can't get that many people to come together for nothing. But to come together in one spot for one reason, for that longer period of time, it's great. And so I think sports was always put people together. My children. They love basketball. They can tell you anything, everything about them. Every kid watching the NBA sit there sometimes and watch those players, and they said, there was a time in my life I was better than Kobe Bryant. I was better than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I was better than Larry Bird. If I only had the chance. Is that not what we need in this country? We need hope, and we need people to have faith. And, you know, this is an incredible way to do it. I, I just love it. This is about more than basketball. Yes, winning the gold medal will continue to cement the U.S. as the preeminent basketball power in the world. This, however, is about bringing unity to our nation at a time when we are so divided. Thank you.